This Paint Live TV, I'm Chrissy Idaho Painter. In this video, I've got three more tools or products I wanna to introduce to you that were created by painters or tradesmen in the trades to help us improve our skills or efficiency as painters in the trades. So if you wanna see what these tools are about or if you wanna support these guys that have invented some really cool products, stay tuned for this video. All right, the first product we're going to talk about today is True Swipes, and this is a product created by Chad Flood, and he's in beautiful San Diego, California. It has a business, a painting business called Local San Diego Painting Company, and he's created the True Swipes, and his company's called, um, this company is called True Green Products. So he created this wipe, and this is, it's a very simple little wipe, and what this thing does is it tells you whether you have oil-based or water-based paints. And it's very important to know that what's on your surface because you got to prep properly. If this is oil-based paint, latex paints does not stick on it very well. You do need to sand and prime or your latex paint could just peel right off that surface. It could be a big nightmare. And so how do you tell whether this is latex or oil-based paint? This simple little wipe does this it's got denatured alcohol in it it's got some other chemicals in it and i think one of them is aloe vera so it doesn't dry out your hands but you just take this wipe all you got to do is swirl it on here and it happens like really fast if this is latex paint you're going to have paint on the wipe and it's probably going to be hard to see because that's white on a white wipe right here but there's paint on that wipe and it happened that fast and so now i know this is latex based paint and i know that i don't have to do nearly the prep work i don't have to be nearly as concerned because it's not oil-based paint if it was oil-based paint when i'm looking at this wipe i can hold it up in the light and i can see paint all over this thing if it was oil-based paint all it's gonna literally do is clean the surface and there's not gonna be any paint on this wipe at all and he's got wipes and he's also got swabs right here this is a swab that does the exact same thing it just is on a swab so and it looks just like a really large q-tip so you pull this thing out and there's three of them so you can walk around a house and do multiple tests there's enough um, of the the alcohol or chemical in there that you can dip it and re-wet it so all i'm going to do is just find a spot on a door I'm gonna rub it or anywhere where you wanna test it, a painted surface. And now I can see there's white paint on my swab. And I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up. I will get a close up of it here later on and show you. But I know now this door has latex paint on it and I know what I need to do to prep it. I know it's not oil-based paint. But one of the other really cool things about this product is when Chad, I met him at a, um, a trade show, a painting trade show quite a few years ago. He gave me some samples of these products and I uh, took this to the job site and uh, me and some of my employees started messing around with it. And one thing we realized is uh, with the swab itself, and this is with the swab and not the wipe, we um, were spraying some doors and we got some spits on some doors, some small little spits because we're using gun extensions and invariably you're going to get some spits somewhere or you're going to get a run somewhere at some point in time if you're spraying the, the entire trim package of a house. What we did is we took and you can see a spit right here. It's not going to remove the spit on this door because this is one of the things after 24 hours, once a paint is cured, this will not remove the spit. But we were just taking and we started rubbing on it and we literally rub the spit out and typically what would happen we'd get a spit or a run on a door or some trim we would sand it then we would um, smear it with bondo glazing putty with a, a knife we would sand it again and then we would reshoot it so we'd have to sand and do bondo glazing putty but what we realized with these little swabs right here for small runs and spits with that same day or the next day we can rub them out no sanding no bondo glazing putty reshoot it and you couldn't even tell where that spit was and there's something about them and it's more than just denatured alcohol i think it has something to do with the aloe vera in the alcohol it kind of gels with the paint and it makes the edges really smooth you can't see where you actually rubbed it out you don't have any edges where you rubbed it it's absolutely amazing and incredible and all you got to do is just you know just lightly rub and around where that spit is or that run is and it just magically disappears i got a video how to remove runs with these things you can check that video out after this video 
And um, we've also got a video on how to remove runs sanding and bondo wise, but that's a lot more labor than using the swabs right here. So they got two uses, uh, checking for oil-based or water-based paints, or um, getting rid of spits and runs. So there you have it. That's a really cool product by Chad Flood out of amazing San Diego, California. All right, the next tool I wanna to show you, this is another really cool tool, and this was made um, in, or invented by a guy in the trades, in the drywall trades, Dan Raymond, and he has a company um, selling these products and other products like some hammers and some other tools, a uh, drywall knife. He has a really cool drywall knife that we actually sell in our store at Paint Life Supply um, Co. also, but this right here is a, um, mixing paddle. So this mixing paddle can mix paint, can mix drywall mud, it can mix all kinds of things. And one of the really cool things about this mixing mixing paddle is it's small enough diameter wise to go in uh, just about any drill there is. But there's some things about this mixing paddle that makes it a little bit more unusual than a lot of mixing paddles out there. This thing is extremely durable. It's not going to break. It's um, It's got multi-function or multi-uses that it does. Uh, so he was a drywaller and, um, or maybe still is a drywaller, but he's got these products he sells too. This thing, it's angled, it's got a slight angle to it and it fits right in a mud pan and will actually mix and spin along the side of your mud pan and mix drywall mud extremely fast, a lot faster than it will with a knife. I mean, we're, we're accustomed to just using our knives, mixing it up. This thing will mix it up a lot faster. It will mix paint also. But one of the really cool things about this thing, if you have only an impact drill, around your job site, this thing is made to go into an impact drill and stay right in there. So go into impact drill, it will actually go in a regular drill and just lock right in place. So that's really cool. It comes in a bunch of different sizes. He now has, he used to only have one size. Now he has three, six, nine, and 12 inch lengths. So I think this is the 12 right here. I think this is the six inch length. So it's great for that. Here's another thing. It's great for mixing paint also, but what he's done this simple little thing right here and he's cut um, this little groove in the end of this and you would get that and you could wonder what the heck that actually does. But that simple little groove makes opening up a paint can a breeze. So if you don't have a five in one tool with you, you can now open your can of paint with his tool and then you can take and mix your paint with his tool all in one. And it thing mixes extremely fast. So got some paint here, hook it to a drill. You can show that up close there. So there you have it. It's pretty handy little device and it's short enough, small enough, it could be stored just about anywhere. In a drawer, you can keep it in your tool bag, you can keep it a lot of places. There it is made of a heavy duty plastic, but this plastic also flexes and bends, so it's not gonna snap and break. Heavy duty steel shaft and um, just a great tool. It's a great simple little tool that drywallers can use and painters can use made by Dan Raymond from Dano Tools. All right, the next tool I wanna talk about is called the Sand Reach and this is another really cool tool that's gonna make your um, orbital sander a little bit more versatile. So this will work on uh, any, just about any sander out there. So you can use it for square sanders or, or, or round orbital sanders. And it is called the Sand Reach. And this was created by a guy named uh, Bill Seidel and um, another guy named Brian. And they got a painting company, a large painting company out of Lake Forest, California. And they uh, created this to make uh, their painters faster and more efficient uh, when it comes to sanding. And here's what this thing does. And this thing will attach to 
just about any sander out there and it's uh, got a strap on it and I've actually cut the strap a little bit so it comes longer you know so you could have bigger sanders or smaller sanders but it's very simple it just attaches to your sander just like this this will wrap around your sander right here and it hooks over the hook right here and then you have this device right here that locks into place and now this thing is strapped on your sander and it's locked in place right here now what you do is you take an extension pole any size extension pole you want you screw it to the sand reach and now you don't actually have to get on your knees and sand by hand. I can now turn my sander on and I can have it down. I could be standing up and sand a deck or sand any surface standing up. I could reach up, I can sand uh, gutters if I needed to sand gutters, depending on what type of sander I had on here. And it's gonna make your sander a lot more versatile of a tool. So this is the sand reach and it hooks on just like that. To take this thing off, it just clicks off and your sander is removed. Now I can take and just do any hand sanding I needed to with my orbital sander, or I can reattach it right back to my extension pole. So it just hooks on just like this, simply and easily, very fast and efficient. And you can see there's these balls right here, um, like ball joints or ball spring ball valves. I don't know what to call them. They snap in place just like that. You can see I got it upside down. So I got to do is unsnap it, release it, put it right side up, stick it right back on. You can see how fast this happens. Very fast and efficient. Now it's locked right back in place. So there you have it, a pretty cool tool, uh, Sand Reach by a company out of Lake Forest, California, uh, Brian and uh, Bill Seidel, uh, inventors, co-inventors of this product. Super cool product. The True Swipe from Chad Flood, painter out of San Diego, California, and um, Dan Raymond. And I, I think Dan is from Minneapolis. I'm not sure. He has um, this company, Dano Tools, has been merged with another company that he has um, multiple products they sell. We'll put that across the board. If you want to support these guys, in the products they've created on the side to help us become more efficient, better painters, better tradesmen. You can pick these tools up at our store, Paint Life Supply Co. or paintlifesupply.com. They're available there. If you've got a tool or product you want me to share, you think it's good enough, um, that it would be in my vehicle. These are only tools um, for painters, by painters, that I actually use in my uh, vehicle. So I don't use them on a daily basis. Um, I use them here and there, but they're tools worthy of being in my van and, um, and in my tool bag. So if you've got a tool you want to share, you can send it to us. Um, leave it down in the comment section below. If you've used any of these tools, leave it down in the com comment section below what you think of them. Hi, Maya. How are you doing? So Maya's come to visit us today and she's um, looks like she's stretching and yawning because she's been a good dog and just um, resting. Anyways, leave the comments down below. Give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I come out with a new video. Out.